So I think every player that plays ranked league has experienced the tilt phenomena. The feeling where no matter what you do, you always have four losing teammates and you're against Faker himself in lane. Games are unwinnable and you wonder if you'll ever win a game again as you queue up after your fifth straight loss. This kind of gameplay pattern and its consistency among the player base has long been thought of as something that's been integrated into matchmaking. Community dub loses queue and inversely winners queue, it feels like the game just wants you to either win or lose, whether it's through underperforming teammates or maybe something else. In this Reddit post, this player presents his theory that Riot's matchmaking algorithm secretly passes damage buffs slash debuffs to one team in certain games in an effort to nudge the game towards a desired outcome. To this, Riot Orbrawn had a pretty insightful response. In this wall of text, he says, I laugh manically and twirl my mustache as I deliver five invisible HP to the team who's collectively been playing the game longer. Okay, we definitely don't do this, but there is one point I think I can help clarify a bit. Also, take into consideration what percentage of your ranked games are just complete stomps from beginning to end. That doesn't seem right considering matchmaking is supposed to be composing teams from a pool of players allegedly fairly equal in skill level. Teams of equal skill levels does not necessarily resolve in close long games. Snowball is really powerful in League. Take two teams who are equal skill, put one jungler on Elise and one on Kindred. If Elise decides to invade Kindred at level 1, coin flipping, stealing red and killing her, we've all seen those games where Kindred basically doesn't get to play anymore if her team didn't draft lanes with strong priority. Conversely, take the exact same teams in a meta where it's tank junglers and tops and scaling mage mids, a lot of people consider this boring by the way, which is why it doesn't stay often like this for long. And that game might be a 40 minute slow quote unquote close game. In both cases, the matchmaking would be the same, but most players would consider the second game to be a quote unquote fairer one than the first. There are a lot of in-game factors that affect perception of fairness that aren't actually the matchmaking, or even out of game factors that can't or shouldn't be accounted for, like someone deciding to first time a champion or play while they're extremely tilted or exhausted. I think his response is good, but I also just don't know if I'm completely satisfied with there being no matchmaking bias at all. Some days it feels like I can't lose and others it feels like I can't win. Surely it's part of the addiction algorithm to give you a perfect balance of being satisfied and not being bored with the game. But maybe I'm being overly skeptical. What are your thoughts on matchmaking? Let me know in the comments below and for more league news click the video on your screen. Bye!